All right, everybody, my name is Smithy, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a little story for you all. So recently, I joined a rank game, and it was a pretty normal rank game. Everything seemed to be going smoothly in the beginning, you know? We were just playing it out round by round. Everything was pretty fantastic, actually. And the reason it was fantastic is actually because we were winning this rank game in the beginning, and it was looking like we were going to win the whole rank game. In fact, right off the start of this rank game, we won not one, not two, not... Well, yeah, it was three rounds in a row, okay? So we were up 3-0. Everything was looking good, you know, like, it's pretty hard to throw a 3-0 lead in a rank game, you know? If you do that, then you're either doing something terribly wrong because you suck at the game, or you just suck at the game, okay? Like, there's not really an in-between there. You're telling me you have a 3-0 lead, and you can't just win one more round to put away the rank game and win? Like, okay, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Because, well, uh, winning one more round to put away the rank game, that is exactly what me and my team did not do. Oh yeah, when I say my team, I mean like randoms. I was solo queuing like I always do because I have no friends. And as it would turn out, and this matters later on in the story, two of the people on my team were in a squad. Two of them were irrelevant, okay? I don't know what they were doing. And then there's me. <sighs> Sorry, okay, I had to drink some water there for a second because I'm. if you can't tell, my throat feels like weird right now. I feel like I'm talking weird. I'm kind of sick right now. I'm still kind of sick. I was sick like three months ago and I'm still kind of sick. Okay, you know what? Whatever. As I was saying, we had a 3-0 lead. Everything was going fantastic. And then we blew the 3-0 lead completely. It was an utterly miserable throw. We threw all three rounds. We didn't throw the whole rank game. We only threw three rounds to let them get it into overtime with us. And then the game kind of reset and it's like, okay, now we're in overtime, you know, even scoreboard, even playing field, let's go, baby, we can win this. Why is my leaderboard, like, so tiny? Like, when did this happen? I don't remember this change being implemented. Okay. Can I even fix it? It's so small. I don't like it like this at all. Holy sweat. All right, who the sweat should I go? Oh, these rat games are so sweaty. I can't deal with it, man. I <laughs> so as of now, at this point in the story, it was three to three in overtime, right? Even playing field, my teammates are getting spawn killed right now. Oh my goodness, from the most obvious spawn peak in this entire game too i can't shoot the camera goodness gracious two of them got spawn killed that's three of them got spawn how do three people get spawn killed that doesn't even make sense she's oh my scare me to death I got one. So in this first round of overtime, well, this is where things get very interesting. And as the story progresses from here, this is where things get even more and more interesting because people start getting banned from ever playing Xbox like completely and it's it's pretty intense. But in this first round of overtime, what essentially happens is, well, one of my relevant teammates, who I said is one of the guys who squatted up in the duo queue or whatever with his friend, he decides to team kill the random on my team who was actually in the party and I was talking to him and he was a really nice guy. He was like, yo, you gotta have my back here. You can't be letting this random player on my team be team killing me and getting away with it. Like, that is unacceptable. And I was like, you know what? You're right. So what I decided I was gonna do was I was gonna team kill the player who team killed the random who was in my party. If that makes sense. It sounds kind of complicated when I say it out loud, but really it's not that in depth. And I think you guys are not stupid, so I think you understand. Did I lag? Like, I swear somebody lagged right there. It was either him or it was me, because that did not just happen. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, how, how the frick does that make sense? That doesn't even make any You're all surrendering. Who the- Okay, I'm not surrendering. However, what actually happened before I was even able to team kill anybody or do anything in the seventh round of the rank game? Well, the guy that was duo queuing with the team killer was actually also a team killer himself, so he team killed me before I could even do anything in the round. So I was like, okay, well, what the frick? Now we're both dead, me and the random. We've both been executed ruthlessly for absolutely no apparent reason. I, I, we didn't even do anything. We essentially lost that round, and then the next round, they c 4 themselves together, and they didn't even let us team kill them. They just killed themselves with a C4, and then they got kicked from the game and probably banned her for 30 minutes or whatever, and they probably didn't care at all because it doesn't even mean anything, and they could just play 30 minutes later, and they're probably getting off anyway. But after we lost this rank game, I mean, I had to go ahead and message these two team killers on my team because I'm just like that. We lost the rank game because they team killed and threw. We had a 3-0 lead. Like, come on now. So for the guy who team killed first, I messaged him why, and he said, I felt like it, and I said, then just play casual, right? Because you can team kill and casual and everything. And then as a response back to me, he said, okay. Meanwhile, though, I was messaging the other team killer. And I messaged him his score for that game, which was one and six. Um, I just said one dash six. And it was extremely embarrassing because he sucked. And he responded back and he said, one and seven, actually, you brain dead monkey. And that was actually my mistake because he did C4 himself in the final round to make that seven deaths instead of six, which I did forget to take into account. So he was correct, I, I'm not gonna lie. So we will give that point to him. However, after he sent me a message, he sent me a double message and he said, cry more. And he said a, a very vile word. It begins with a P and then there's a U and an S, S and Y. You guys probably know what the word is because I just spelled it out for you. So I, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it because he got banned for saying it. So I don't want to get 
banned for saying it here. I don't know how YouTube works, man. They're really weird with like banning people and shadow ban, and it's it's freaking scary stuff. So I saw him send me that message, and I was like, okay, well, why'd you do it to yourself? Like you could have at least spelled it weirdly and given it the same meaning, right? Or like spelled it in a different way so that the Xbox algorithms don't detect it. But I had to report him to Xbox Live, and immediately Xbox Live sent me a message back, and they're like. Thank you for your recent report or filing a complaint or whatever, and we've taken action on your recent report and filing a complaint, and that player's banned now. So he got banned from Xbox. I don't know how long, but he got banned, and it was it was really it was a really good feeling because I snitched on him, and it felt great. So then, of course, I had to start taunting him, and I was like, "Why aren't you responding to my messages? This is something I said, or blah blah blah." And I was messaging his friend, and I was like, "How's your friend? Why isn't he responding to me?" And they were getting kind of angry, and I the one guy was getting angry. I don't know if the guy who got banned was angry. I'm assuming he. Was. Was, but I couldn't tell because he couldn't message me back because he got banned. Personally, I thought it was a pretty funny experience and I had a pretty great time. So I hope you guys did enjoy watching this video. If you did, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I love all of you guys. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it.